Boeing has been given the green light to create the XS-1 robot space plane. Now this is going to launch a secret spy satellite, actually plural satellites, and space weapons. It's expected to be able to return to the Earth and go up to space again within 24 hours. This spacecraft, it's reportedly a $6.6 .6 million project. We have a video clip of it. Take a look. Now this spy ship, if you're looking at it, DARPA wants this prototype to perform a realistic trial mission no later than 2019. We can see it lifting up off the ground. Now it's hoped that the, hair, the, the craft would quickly launch small satellites that could defend it against a growing threat of Russian and Chinese space weapons here. So apparently we're getting into the space spy ship game. We're launching our own. We're expected to have it up and running by 2019. I don't know if this is a good thing, Jose, or not, but we're, we're getting in the game where national security and yeah. space are going hand We in are hand. still finding new battlefields for gauging war the new and frontiers. benefiting the industrial military complex. If it's not the air, then let's take it to space. And what are they trying? Are they trying to bring down enemy satellites? Are they trying to attack the Earth from the space? Well, what's the deal with this? The, well, here's what they're trying to do. So this is a surveillance spy ship, number one. Number two, it does have space weaponry on it so that they can actually target and fire upon if they need to. Um, it's unmanned, so my presumption would be because it's unmanned in case our enemies decide to shoot it down, our perceived enemies, I should say, because Russia and China actually are not, not. our enemies. Um, but the ship, we need to point out that it's actually the big brother. They were working on something similar to this before. They've decided to ratchet it up. This is what they have now, this prototype. 2019, we're going to see this circling. And, uh, so it, this is Star Wars drone, basically. It, it's a much. big drone that is going to be fighting in space. That's right. But that, that's what, what it worries me is that surveillance aspect of it. Right. Because we're not sure that it's only surveilling our enemies. Our enemies, or perceived enemies, as you say, it could be also very well surveilling all of us. That's right. Well, this is what DARPA said in a press release about the spy ship. In an era of declining budgets and adversaries, evolving capabilities, quick, affordable, and routine access to space is increasingly critical for both national and economic security. They've tied in our economic security as well as our national with this spy ship. I'm wondering what exactly they mean it, by that. I mean, it. it it's not making any sense to me. Yesterday, we did a story about how NASA now has to pay $80 million to the Russian space agency to take our astronauts to the International Space Station. Right. Although we are spending money in developing these surveillance you know, drones to send to space That's right. to protect us from Russia. That's right. And it, why are not spending money on the NASA. peaceful exploration <laughs> space instead of let's see how we can pose these art you know these weapons on space so we're ready for the interstellar fight for the universe right because that's where our priorities are yeah. not NASA I don't know if you've ever I'm, I'm sure you have you've seen where w these partnerships happen with the US and Russia when it comes to astronauts mm -hmm. or cosmonauts in their case in space but they have to go to this f essentially a field in the middle of Kazakhstan Baikonur and use all of the Russian facilities, it's a big Russian production, and you've got these two little American astronauts, you know, partnering, and they always seem so diplomatic. And it, I wish that we could bring more money back to NASA and uh, stop looking at the national security aspect of space so much, in my opinion. It's, it's sad to see that we are so worried on creating more weapons and creating uh, this, in, you know, one-upmanship in between Russia, China, and the U.S. to see who can scare the other the most, instead of just really focusing on the issues that we have at hand. Um, I, I, for me, there's plenty of things to take care of before creating these drones, creating sending a, them space. Creating a spaceship Your with Star Wars weapons. drone that you can use as weapons to destroy it. That's half right. Of the planet, dude. And not to knock on our astronauts who partner with Russia. No, no, no. But that's my, a big point deal. Is, my point they're, is they're to, to that they're they're not taken care of. We're taking care of these. We're giving money to Boeing, and we're giving. Right money to the industrial military complex here and there, but then our astronauts have, have to hitch a ride NASA. to... Yeah. There you go. They you have know? to hitch a ride with the Russians. Anyway, we'd love to know what you think about this video clip. The new spy ship that Boeing is developing set to take place 2019. It's going up. Log on, post those comments below about this story. While you're at it, check out the rest of our channel. And of course, subscribe to the LibTV2 for more.